Alright, hello you guys, this is episode 1 in the module 3 series of videos. Alright, first thing we're going to discuss is simple interest. Simple interest is um, a very important concept. If you go into a car lot and try to purchase a car, uh, usually you'll be using the simple interest loan if you're taking out a loan. It's very helpful to know how simple interest is calculated. Uh, if you look at the formula sheet for the course, there's no simple interest formula on the formula sheet. So that is one that we will need to know uh, as we go into the final exam um, and of course your module 3 test. So simple interest is going to be calculated. Your interest is going to equal the principal amount times the rate. The rate needs to be expressed as a decimal times time. Alright, so again if you go into a car lot you'll be taking out a simple interest loan um, and so you can calculate your interest immediately based off how much you're going to borrow, your rate, and your loan term. Uh, this first problem that asks you to use simple interest is going to say calculate the money you'll have at the end of the indicated time period assuming that you earn simple interest so this is going to be an investment you're going to deposit $3,700 in an account with an annual annual interest rate of 5.3%. So we are going to need to change that into a decimal. You might say, well, it has a decimal. Well, that's true, but what we need, what we mean by that is convert it to a decimal. And that percent sign means per 100. So you could convert that very quickly by dividing by 100 or moving the decimal place two units to the left uh, for 20 years. So read very carefully the amount you'll have at the end so this formula that I have right here is going to calculate the interest that you earn so if I know that the principal is $3,700 I'm going to multiply that by the rate the rate as a decimal is 0 0.053 times 20 as the time so I'm going to come over here and I'm going to calculate that In the calculator I hit enter so the interest that I earn is three thousand nine hundred and twenty two dollars that's a lot of interest but this is a 20-year investment so at a five percent little over a five percent rate so you know you're going to earn a lot of money in interest that's your interest if you try to put that into your box here it's going to say that you're incorrect and the reason is because that again is your interest and so if you're asked to find how much money you'll have at the end of this 20 years well you earn that in interest and so your accumulated amount is going to be what you invested the principal plus any interest that you earn and so it's going to be the 3700 as the principal plus the 3922 as the interest earned for a total of well you take that you add the 3700 initial investment so you should have seven thousand six hundred and twenty two dollars at the end of this 20 year investment which sounds like a lot but that is 20 years so if you decide to do something like this you might want to take inflation into account fantastic there that is alright so what I've noticed uh, in teaching this course and teaching other math courses is Students do typically get confused, um, especially when you're doing multiple different formulas in, in, a, in the same module. Uh, simple interest and compound interest are not the same. And so um, in the next video, I'll talk about compound interest. But if I go back to this right here, this question, let's, let's pull this out right here. Your accumulated amount is equal to your principal plus your interest. Now what I want to think of, I want to do a little bit of algebra. We've you know discussed a little bit of algebra uh, in, the, in the last module so let's see if we can kind of follow this. The interest is the P times the R times the T. So what I could do is say the accumulated amount is equal to the principal plus the interest but use this instead of I. 
all right and then if you're very familiar with algebra you could factor out that P and so you might see this formula as the simple interest formula which is the correct formula if you're looking for the accumulated amount so it kind of takes a step away from how we calculated the answer to problem number three um, you could simply use this formula right here and calculate the accumulated total in basically one step but you do have to be very careful when typing um, your stuff into your calculator that's one thing I want to emphasize in these videos so 3700 times 1 plus the rate times 20 years would actually give you the grand total immediately and you wouldn't have to go through that extra step of finding the interest and adding it to the principal it already takes care of that in the formula but I like showing that because that is different than this formula right here even if uh, your end value which in this video we're not going to discuss what that means but if I plug in a 1 in for n I'll still get a different formula than this one so you do have to be very careful and that will be more discussed in episode 2.